Max, I looked up one million ties for our wedding day. I searched through thousands of bridesmaids and officiant dresses, and I'm pretty sure I've researched every wedding venue in Washington State. For each selection I made, I second-guessed myself and went back to look at some more. You joke that I'm bad at decision-making, but I just wanted this day to be so perfect, so I had to be sure. But from the day we said I love you, and probably before, <laughs> I've been sure about you. Now that today has finally arrived, finally arrived, <laughs> oh my gosh, words cannot describe just the pure joy and excitement I feel knowing that it's finally our day and I get to marry you surrounded by our family and friends. While not everything has been easy or gone our way, our love has only grown stronger through it all. If there is a silver lining to the past year and a half, it has been spending every day with you by my side. Wow. Um, we did it! <laughs> and I think what I really mean by that is that we have all of our loved ones, family and friends from near and far here with us tonight. We did it. I've had the pleasure to watch both Hannah and Max become who they are today, and I have to say, it's been so much fun to watch it all unfold. I find myself going back to when Hannah was in fourth grade. I was taking her to Hebrew school one day, and she said, Mommy, I think Max likes me. And I said, well, why do you think that, honey? She said, well, every time I look up, he's staring at me. The majority of you are familiar with key pieces in Hannah's life. Her love for Spencer, her dedication to her work, and her trusty three-point shot. Matt. I know much of our childhood years were plagued with constant brotherly love in the form of bickering, fighting, punching, and fighting. I've heard my parents considered having a third child so that we could have a sister, but soon realized the risk of having another boy was just too much. What I didn't tell Hannah back then was for you to know that Max is staring at you, you have to be looking at him. <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> It is such a beautiful day for this long-awaited ceremony. And I know I can speak for so many of us in saying how thankful we are to see our friends and family together to celebrate Hannah and Max. It is truly a Shehechianu moment, a moment that we are so grateful to reach. Hannah would always talk about this kid from Mercer Island. Sure, sure, we would say. But it was when we came back from winter break our senior year. That's when I knew he was here to stay. She just would not stop talking about him. Max had met the perfect match that shared his competitive nature, could beat him at 101 basketball, and would hold him accountable. I always thought I'd have to protect my beloved daughter from boys. And uh, as a urologist, I, I have some interesting tools to work with. <laughs> I didn't expect to be this lucky, though, to have a son-in-law who shows love and support to Hannah so overtly and so naturally that I never felt a worry that she'd be cared for.
So let's raise our glasses to, to Hannah and Max, Max husband, husband and wife, to good, good health and happiness, l'chaim to life. Today, I love you completely, as I did yesterday, and as I will tomorrow. I will be there for you when you need me the most. I will hold you in my heart, just as I hold you in my arms. I will share in your dreams, delight in your joys, and comfort you in your sorrows. You are my life, you are my dreams. You are my joy, you are my love. You are my everything.